I'm back with another video. Um, this is just one that I'm trying to film kind of last minute because I'm dumb and lost track of time, but this is going to be a video that's actually been requested a couple of times, not one that I expected to be requested, but it is. Um, and that's going to be gear I recommend starting off with for a service dog in training. Uh, there's a few things. Um, first off, for a service dog in training, I really do not suggest getting a vest to start off with, but I will put some vests in here that are good. Uh, and then also I do like have like a couple of things here and there where I'll like mention as I get into stuff. So let's just go ahead and get into the video. Um, okay, so first off, the big thing I recommend is a treat pouch. Um, the whole reason I say a treat pouch is because this can just go on your waist, over your shoulder. Um, this one specifically can clip onto your belt. It's got like the little clip attachment. I don't like to use it, but I do every once in a while. And this way, it's so that you're able to just have easy access to treats. Like you can just reach in, grab a treat, and treat as you're training without having to worry about like digging in your pockets. Um, opening a bag, all that kind of stuff. Um, so a treat pouch is really good, really essential in my opinion. It's something that you should order before you get a puppy um, because training starts as soon as you get home or honestly when you're in the car on your way back home. Um, with that, are so training treats. Um, I say training treats because these are smaller and meant for using in duration like it's meant for giving a bunch at once without having a ton of calories obviously you don't have to get these exact ones these are just a couple i like i use a wide variety of treats um this one these are just ones that really work well for all three of my dogs without a problem or are really good for puppies um first off there's these wellness core grain free puppy bites these are the beef and turkey recipe all both Aries and Athena like them. I really don't see the big deal in giving puppy bites to just puppies because um, Aries likes them and it's easier to just have one treat pouch with all treats in there and if I'm working both of them and training with both of them then it's nice to just be able to reach in and grab treats over worrying about what kind of treats I get. The only thing is those are a lot softer which is where they're good for puppies and their teeth and then another one is these like American Journey training bits these are the salmon recipe um i like to mix treats i usually have i have in my bag right now i think four or five different kinds um and that's to just kind of like keep it going with different flavors they're not going to end up with a bunch of the same treat uh because i know personally the only dog that's extremely food motivated is aries the other like the two girls uh bell and athena both will lose interest if it's the same flavor continuously um, going along with that for training, I do not recommend starting with a training tool. Um, I suggest starting with the foundations, um, teaching the positions you want, and then after that you can go to a training tool. But one thing I will say that I recommend everybody get when they get their puppy is a martingale collar. Um, so that's this. It just goes onto their neck and then will tighten up like so whenever they pull. And this way they can't back out of their collar, they can't escape, all that kind of stuff, which I think is really important for a puppy because if they spook, they're really likely to. Um, over just like a regular flat collar, I think this has a lot more benefits. And any Martingale works, this is just a full fabric, but there's also like fabric and chain. Um, we have Biothane, where it's a full Biothane one. Um, and a couple other kinds that I've seen that work really well. There's leather and chain, um, rolled leather, all this kind of stuff. Uh, advantage to this and biothane is this. You can literally just take off of them and throw it in the washer if it gets dirty. And the biothane, you obviously just have to, like, put in the sink and wipe it down and it's good as new. Um, but going from there, if you have a dog that is learning and has learned the foundations, the placement that they're supposed to be, and you're just trying to fine tune stuff, I do have some training tools that I recommend. Obviously, this is an A. You need to use these. Those are just ones that I use and I found success with, um, but I haven't actually used it with all of my dogs because some of them have, like, learn better with different methods, and that's the advantage to being a balanced trainer is I just use with what, use what works for each dog, um, 
So one is the Starmark collar. This is just a more gentle than the prong, like plastic prong collar almost. Um, so as you can see, it just is plastic and then has the pinch point things here. None of these hurt the dog. The dog will never be harmed. All of my dogs actually really like these um, and get excited when I pull them out. But basically this works just the same as the Martingale. You attach it and then when you tug, it tightens and will correct. I mean, I'm popping this and I'm barely feeling it. And that's actually like loosening up so the points are up and then slamming it back into me. Um, which is not how this fits. It fits snug at the tight at top of their neck like here and then you'll pop it. Um, and it's a quick correction. Don't just, you know, don't sit there and go, oh, no, it's a pop. Um, which is a big thing. If you guys want a video on just training tools, let me know and I can film one. Uh, but this is what I always like to start off with before introducing a prong, just because it is a lot more gentle. Um, and that's, of course, only if the dog needs it. Um, obviously, along with that is a prong. This is not my first means of going to, uh, never just slap a prong on a dog and expect it to work. Definitely, you know, if you really need help and think that the training tool is correct, please go to a trainer. Don't just decide a prong is the best option or do research and figure out how to fit it. Um, with prongs, I highly recommend getting Herm Springer um, just because of how the prongs are done. So it has this little plate on there that leads to the prongs offering corrections both ways. They're not all sitting in one direction. So a lot of collars will have all prongs facing the same direction like this. But with Herm Springer, it switches so that you have them going in opposite directions and can comfortably offer a very even correction. Um, that to me is really important. Uh, I do have a different brand for Aries, but that's just because he is in a micro prong and it's really hard for me to find a Herm Springer micro prong, but I'm still looking. Um, so that's just where this is and yeah. And then along with that is also an e-collar. This is for distant recalls. I like to use this for is when I start, not when I start teaching distance recalls, but when I start teaching off leash work, when I start teaching, yeah, when I'm work, doing work with distance recalls, I'll keep them on a long line. And then if they're not listening, then I'll offer a correction and have them come that way. Um, it's worked great for me, but obviously this doesn't work for every dog and I don't recommend it for every dog. So I just want to say that. Okay, so next is going to be, I always say get a hands-free leash. Um, my whole reason for saying the hands-free leash is because it can be used in multiple different ways. Um, for hands-free leashes, I recommend getting a leather one. So this is my leather one. I've said it in multiple videos. I absolutely adore this one. Don't see myself ever getting another one that I love as much as this. I actually have a Bridgeport one and I find myself not using it as much. I got a black one just because I wasn't sure how often I'd stick to brown. And that's been my one complaint, but I still find myself reaching for this. Um, so this one's just off of Amazon. It's a six and a half foot uh, leather leash. And with this, why I enjoy it is it has this attachment down here where it's going to be just over the shoulder. Um, and then it has this attachment here, which actually works for over the shoulder for me also with like longer lead for the dog. Some people, this will work for waist. Um, just, there's a couple different options, or if you just want to like hook it like one shoulder over, over the shoulder. Um, but yeah, and then you have this to just use it as like a regular leash like a regular long six foot leash basically um that to me is really good and then with leather it's really easy to sanitize to clean condition all that kind of stuff um which is really important with a puppy you want to make sure that you're keeping stuff clean especially if they get into something because that's how puppies work um the next material that i highly recommend is biothane um this one is from whiskey dog gear I believe it's one inch it's also 6.5 feet um it's really nice I like it a lot but I find myself not using it very often just because I don't like it as much as I prefer my leather ones um it's just it's too thick for my comfort which is okay um so I actually added a d-ring down here because I like having the short lead uh 
And then this one has the attachment here for over the shoulder or yeah, for over the shoulder. And then it has the next attachment is for waist. Um, which is here, it's for my waist, but I actually just end up using it for like a line and then I'll like hold it here so that it won't fall off my wrist if I need to. Um, so yeah, but biothane is obviously very easy to clean. Um, one advantage, it's completely and totally waterproof. Nothing's going to get through it. All you have to do is literally throw it in the sink and wash it off and it's all good to go. Okay, um, along with that is... A traffic lead um, this is not something I say you have to start off with but I like to use it for teaching off-leash work as well as just dropped leash um, but still having control this is a one foot leather lead off of Amazon it's just white pure leather um, I like it a ton it works great for us it's actually a little longer than I'd like even for Athena but as I said it works really well um, you can get these custom made just about anywhere. I have a couple of biothane coming. I have some paracord over there. Um, gosh, I have some a couple other ones that are over there that aren't. I don't remember what all I have. Yeah, I've got fleece. Um, just about anything. It's basically just a loop of material, and obviously you can get them all in custom leaves. Um, next thing I highly, highly recommend over a vest is actually a leash wrap or a bandana. Um, and this is also where you can bring in some custom gear uh, over just getting generic stuff. And that's the leash wraps. These are from Patients in Love. Well, this one is from Patients in Love, which is a place I highly recommend, highly suggest. Love her quality. I actually have a vast collection of leash wraps right behind me, most of which are Patients in Love. Um, they're really good and they're actually really cheap for the quality, in my opinion. I know if I was doing this, I'd charge a lot more than she does. But I love these, and you don't have to worry about your puppy outgrowing it. Um, so, yeah. So, along with the puppy outgrowing stuff, where I think it is really good to have is just an Amazon-style vest. I actually have two. Um, and I think that they just, they work really well. Um, they have a very vast girth adjustable like room and that's you know smallest to biggest is huge this is Aries's um has room for patches I actually took the patches off and used them on a different vest and now they're up on my patch board and I just haven't put them back on but they're basically just service dog patches from Amazon um I think this one's actually from active dogs but it is the Amazon style or actually this is all access canine is what it says but Amazon style I actually got this in a giveaway but I can link a similar one in the description. And then I have the actual stereotypical Amazon industrial puppy vest. This is Athena's. Um, it's just this pink one. It's pink black. It has room for patches on the side here, which is from, yeah, works for Amazon. And then as I said, it has a huge girth adjustment, so it's going to grow with your puppy. Now, for large breed dogs, your dog's probably going to outgrow it before the end, but for medium breeds even, a lot of times the girth that fits as a puppy is also going to fit as an adult, or you can even like size up so it will for sure. Quality is great, and I've always liked it. Um, had one for every single one of my dogs. Uh, okay, if you don't, so the one thing I will say is the downside to the Amazon vests is the fact that they are commonly associated with fakes. Um, I hate saying that, but it is true because they're so easily accessible. Um, so if you want something that's not as associated with fakes, I do suggest the One Tigress vest. So this is the One Tigress Apollo 09 without the front chest strap. I took it off of my of Athena's harness and didn't put the chest strap on just for this video because it's going to go back onto her harness. Um, but that's the advantage to this is it has a front chest strap that it can attach across here for a vest but it can also use the clips and attach as a cape to any harness um with this the why i really enjoy it is the girth it goes from like a 16 inch girth to like a 30 something and it's like it's going to grow with your dog i know athena's grown three four inches since i got her for girth wise and it's just grown with her well a lot of places she would have been at the end of the girth already um 
So I just put some Amazon patches on the side and then I have some So What Co patches and our training patch on top. But yeah, this is the short version. I have the long version over with Aries and I recommend both of them. Quality is great and it's a pretty decent price. Um, if you want to go the complete and total custom route, you don't want to do tactical, you don't want to do the Amazon style, any of that, you want to get a complete and total customizable vest. Then the place that I recommend is Patience and Love. My reason for saying this is the girth she puts on these vests is huge. Like just the room that you get is huge. I haven't cut these straps and I have it looped like five or six times just to fit Athena's girth still. Um, although I did have it fitted as a cape. Uh, you can see like on the chest strap there's a ton left over and that's not fitted to Athena currently. I had it hanging up. I'm actually going to be selling this because she doesn't like vests, but that's just where it is. Uh, with her and with this, the advantage is you can get like a panel size up, panel size that they are currently, or you know, a couple inches bigger, and it'll just grow with them. I love patience and love, as I've said, and I don't see the problem in getting an in-training vest for them when they're going to be in training for two years. Uh, although you obviously can get it without the in-training and just do a wrap on the front or on your leash. Um, so yeah, that's just some starter gear that I recommend for anybody starting training. I really do not suggest going out and investing in a bunch of custom gear. I honestly discourage it with a growing puppy. Once they're about a year old, then go ahead, or if they start slowing down and growing, or, you know, like with Athena, she's eight months old, or almost eight months old, and I have quite a bit of custom gear for her. Don't be like me. <laughs> um, but she's also started slowing down on growing, and a lot of that is she fits it at the very smallest setting, so I know by the time she's done growing, it's going to fit her still. Um, but I would not have ordered it when she was two months old, four months old even, um, just because I know she would have outgrown it by now. So that is just my big gear dump of gear I recommend, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helped anybody that's looking for, like, going into getting a service dog or has a new service dog in training. Mm -hmm.